Vlogmas day nine and we are going to school. The dishwasher's on, sorry guys. Good morning. My little babies are getting ready for school. I still have laundry to do. I have a recipe to do today. And I have another little baby over here that needs to get his shoes on. Hi. Let's sit on the bench, okay? Can you put your shoe on, please? Hurry up. Hey. Love you, Daddy. We got photography today. Yay. Oh, you do? Really? Here, your camera in the car. Love you, too. Bye. I gotta put pinto beans. How do you cook your pinto beans? Do you guys cook pinto beans? I put mine in the crock pot. And that's what I'm about to go do. And uh, I still have a lot of laundry to fold. I have laundry going on right now, as you guys saw the dryer. And yeah, it's a catch up day today. So we'll see how that goes. All right, my beans are in. Just put them in. I'm gonna take a couple of hours, maybe eight to 10. Um, if I measured right, because <laughs> it could be less than two pounds that I put in there. Uh, but I usually cook a big bulk of beans and then I put them in like plastic containers and I freeze them so that when we want to cook beans, I just take them out and defrost them when I defrost whatever meat we're going to eat. Um, got to make some green enchilada sauce because we always have some on hand for the week. And, um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna cook today. I made myself toast right before the kids left, and it's like, it's like really like hard. So, gotta put butter on that. <laughs> and I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. Um, TMI maybe, but I can only drink coffee at home. And I'm gonna let you guys think about that one. I have to make buñuelos today and I'm so excited because I bought a little contraption thing, the iron rosette. But my my iron rosette came with like ah, it's coffee, ah. Yes. The iron rosette also came with other little tools and I don't know which one I want to use. I'm so excited. I'm going to be making this for my holiday recipe for Walmart and my mother-in-law got me this mug. Isn't it funny? It says, mornings aren't pretty, and psh, who are you telling? I was talking to my brother yesterday, and he was like, I know you stay home, but like, what do you do? And I was like, I seriously sit in front of a computer in the kitchen, and I sit here, and I work. This is what I do. And let me tell you that even though I do take naps, because I schedule them in, and even though I am home all the time, I run a business from home like the luxury of being able to be your own boss i get to do what i want while still providing for my family um because for a while my kids didn't get it either oh mom works on the computer yeah but they don't realize that these lights those video games uh the gifts that are going to be under the tree they're because i work hard and because the hubs works hard and goes to school there's no other way of putting it so i mean when you think about oh oh she's always sleeping or i don't really care if people think i'm sleeping because i am I'm sorry, I stay up late working. Last time I was up till like two in the morning. There's days when I stay up super late. There's days when I'm I'm not, I go to sleep early. But that's the luxury that I have of being my own boss, of being a content creator that works from home. Hey guys, what's going on? So today I didn't take the kids to the bus. I dropped them off actually. And I'm gonna get ready to go over here into photography and take some, not take some pictures, but develop some pictures. I wish I could show you guys the whole process and everything, but um, you can't have any type of light in there. And I know the screen in the back has a little bit of light and I can mess up pictures. So I can be able to show you guys that. My beans are looking good. I just added more water and I'm gonna get ready to cook. But I wanna get a uh, head start on dinner. And because we ran out of crema verde, which I make with poblano chilies. We always have to have some on hand because we use it for tacos, not just enchiladas. It's like our staple here at the house. So I'm charring chilies. I know, it's, it looks crazy. And here's my little contraption that I was telling you guys that I bought. 
So I don't know if I'm gonna use both on here or just one because they're a little tight and I have to put them in the batter. So, ooh, I gotta get to my chilies. You know you're doing some bomb cooking when you get the alarms to go off. Or not. Oh my god. It's never ending. Enough. Jeez Louise. Can't nobody cook? <laughs> Love, if you're watching this, I know you're probably laughing. This is uh, Marcus' thing. He's always setting off. The alarm, fire alarm. Bueno, bueno. Yeah, Hi, Papu Tonis. <laughs> These guys. These guys. All right, Marcus. I am going to start with my ingredients here. I'm going to start cooking, and I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm making the buñuelos with peppermint flavor. To me, peppermint is all about Christmas. Buñuelos is something that is very traditional and something they give out in posadas, so it's just the right time for Las Posadas and Christmas and, you know, all the great greatness of the holidays. And I can't wait to make them. Woo! Before I get started, I want you guys to see my beans are coming along. They've been cooking for a couple hours, so a couple more to go. You guys, they are turning out so stinking cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm still cooking some. I have tons of batter. And here's my topping. I'm so freaking excited that they came out. I can't wait to eat them. So, just got done hanging out with my friends. And I'm over here at... Panera picking up a little treat for my baby at home. She's been working hard as you guys see and I know she's hungry She probably ate something already, but I want to bring her this little surprise home because I know she's been working hard so uh, Tomorrow I have Spanish. Oh So I gotta work on my Spanish tonight, so I shouldn't be playing games to work on Spanish, but We'll see how that turns out. I probably will work on you know I'm not gonna lie. I will work on Spanish first for a little bit play games for a little bit and then work on Spanish again because my Spanish class is the only class I have tomorrow up until um, 11 so I'm gonna see if the wife will drop me off tomorrow or I just drive myself and work on my Spanish and then go in there answer these five questions and I think I'll be done after that tomorrow so we'll see checking up on my little beans Ooh, they're looking good I gotta add some more water I gotta taste for salt and I think they're gonna be ready for dinner time. Look who I'm with, my little cute tooties. He's so cute, he brought me lunch. So cute. Anyways, we're we'll off to pick up the kiddos and go to Walmart because <laughs> I ordered a um, Dutch oven I've always wanted a Dutch oven and I got one that's 6.5 quarts. Here we are at Walmart. <coughs> hey you guys, we just came back from Walmart. We got pretzels. And we are mom made cookies with crushed peppermint. They are very good. Little man, wanna say anything? No. Dad. Daddy, wanna say anything? Hi. Mom is cleaning. Cleaning my chimas. All right, we just got back from Walmart and I'm so excited. I finally have a Dutch oven, a cast iron one at that. Guess what? My beans are done. So, so done. Look at these beauties. 
Can you see that? Can you see that deliciousness? And they're falling apart already because they're so tender. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am anemic, and so I need as much iron in my body as possible because I get dizzy spells, and obviously, you know, it affects my whole person. And so I, that's another reason why I keep beans on hand, um, especially when they're just done. I'll save a cup of the juice and I'll just drink it uh, because it has so much iron in it. It's so good for me. And so that's another reason why I do beans. And I just finished making my green salsa or my green crema. Here's the super spicy one. The kids are doing homework back there. Here's a super spicy one. And then I become that Mexican uh, parent that you go into the refrigerator and you think you're getting cool with, but you're not. That's about all that's going on. Hubby is so tired, he fell asleep in between my laundry. I have laundry everywhere. It's, it was supposed to be laundry weekend, but since we did a Six Flags, it kind of like took us down a day, so now I'm trying to catch up. It is dinner time. There's the beans, the taquitos. Mine looks prettier. And here comes little man. Mine looks way prettier. Because I like adding all that other stuff. It's his mom's. Look at it. Yum. And then look at this delicious little baby. Can't wait. Look at my soda. It has slush in it. Mm. Who did that? Yeah. Mm. So we're about to eat. So let me eat. It tastes like a together. Slurpee. Hey, you guys. Mom is cooking taquitos and bacon beans. Ooh, where's all those taquitos? There's nothing in that pan right now. It's hot. Careful. Bacon. Ba mm, little bacon. man, move, please. Little man. Uh -oh. Little man, uh -oh. can you give me a stool? Stool. What do you need a stool for? Cause so I could show them the bacon. It's cooking, Mama. I want to show them. Well, you're not gonna move a stool over I here. I could do it. Thanks, little man. That is the bacon. Mm -hmm. And those are the taquitos. Yep. That, that's not the, the green the stuff. Are, the green the stuff are not the taquitos. They're sauce for the taquitos. Yeah, the separate stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all red and dark. Yeah. And here's my little. Oh, I appreciate that. Bell. Hey, focus. It says world's greatest, greatest sister. sister. Well, come on. Cause I'm little man's world's greatest sister. We're not. We're going up. We're going upstairs. Oh, if you see right here, this is my character. Let me in. Go get a thing to scratch the salt. That you're not allowed to see it. Oop. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was trying to get my character out the house. Oh my. I oh, won't get off. Oh my god. It broke. Who broke it? Not me, it was mom. Mom came in. Just kidding. Alright guys, it's the end of the night. And remember I was telling you, I put away my beans very different. I'm about to do that. So I was able to get three full ones of beans, which is not bad. Um, I usually get between three and four, and then I get an extra one. Um, since I use, well actually I kind of got four because I actually cooked beans today, which you guys saw that we had for dinner. So yeah, I got like four out of them. And then I always have one that has a little bit of juice, a little bit of juice, a little bit of the beans and more juice and beans. This I keep under and I just keep reheating it and I drink it throughout the week. Um, and then these I put up in the freezer. The reason why I waited until it's like going to be midnight. The reason why I waited till midnight to put them away is because I like to let them cool down so that I can put them away into containers and put them straight into the freezer and that way whenever I need them throughout the week or the month I have beans on hand. So are we ready for Lego Advent Calendar Day 9? Here we go. So we go whack. Wham. And what do we have? It looks like a, that was 9 right? Yes that was 9. What do you think this is? I don't know. It looks like a, I don't know, a chair. It's a chair. It's a chair. I thought it was a chimney or something. No it's a chair. So let's build it real quick. So here is day nine's chair. 
uh, in this part, in this um, day, there was no extra pieces, so it's just the chair. I'm not going to add, really add this one to the set that I have over there because yet, because this is a chair to me, this goes outside and I don't have a Santa Claus yet to put over there, so I'm just going to sit it next to it, but this is the chair. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.